Hi guys, this is Vicki Mila Bono. I hope you're all doing well. It looks like I'll be doing a layout share here, and I will, but the reason for this video is actually twofold. I've not been on YouTube for about four to five weeks, and something happened back around Christmas Day that left me upset, mad, and I just don't understand something. So let's get started. This is a voiceover. Um, maybe you'll cut me a break because it's one of my first voiceovers. Here's what happened. I got a thumbs down. And I know what you're thinking because I would be thinking the same thing. Let it roll off your back. We all get thumbs down. And listen, if it was a thumbs down for one of my haul videos or for a layout, even, even for this rant video, if you want to thumbs it down, go right ahead. It's not going to bother me dot 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 that much. I wish I could say a thumbs down never bothers me, but it does a little bit. But for this particular video that I'm going to tell you about, and I am going to make public for a day or so, so that you can see what I'm talking about, because I just hate when somebody does a video or even in real life somebody says I can tell you this much but I can't tell you the whole story I hate when that happens if you're gonna pull me in let me know the details right so I will make the video public for a while here's what happened I don't even know where to start and, and, you know, this is my first rant video in four to five years of being on YouTube. I guess that's a good percentage. That's a good average. I, I don't know. I just got to get some things off my chest. And I guess most of all, I'm talking to the person who did this. On Christmas Day... We didn't have a real busy Christmas this year. It was just Nate, my son, and myself for Christmas Day. I put a video up on YouTube. I have a lot of videos that are private on my YouTube channel. It's family videos. And I put them on YouTube because occasionally we'll sit around and watch them. I figure it's a place for safekeeping. Of course, I always back up important videos on a disc or a USB thingy. This particular video was of Nate at his Boy Scout Christmas party. For the Boy Scout Christmas party, you're allowed to invite whomever you like. Grandmas, grandpas, brothers, sisters... It's a pretty energetic event, and the reason this was so special, Nate had been selected for color guard. He got to raise the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. To me, this was a big deal. And I guess maybe I'm a little sensitive or tender about this. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's my grandson. Maybe it's just who I am. But I deal with chronic pain. So I can't go to every meeting or event he has. But let me tell you, because he was color guard and he got to raise that flag, I would have been there if they had to put me on a gurney with an IV drip. And on my gurney... 
as was in my purse that day was my flip camera to take movies, my Canon camera in case the flip didn't work, and another camera to take pictures, even though the Canon takes pictures. I wanted to document and keep this moment forever. That's how important it was to me. So I take the video. I never expected that anybody besides family would see this video. It was not my best work. However, I had no plans on entering it into any videographer contest this year. It was shaky. It was very noisy. There were clips and bits and it wasn't a great video, but to me it was. So, on Christmas night, I upload the video to YouTube. I go into the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen for maybe 10-15 minutes. I go back to the laptop to check on the progress and the video had already uploaded, processed, and went live. What I did not do is to push the private button so it was public. By the time I got back to the laptop, three people had viewed the video. There were two thumbs up and one thumbs down. The thing is, whomever watched that video, I feel, had to be somebody who really wants to see my videos. It had to be somebody who gets the email notification that I have a video up. I feel like it had to be someone who I would see as maybe a friend or a regular subby. I mean, I have people who, when they put up a video, I can't wait to watch. I get the email notification. It shows up in my list. But to be able to sit down and watch this video in five minutes of it being released, I don't know. Well, needless to say, I was shocked. And I was shocked because... I couldn't figure out why the thumbs down. Was it for the shoddy filming? That could be it. That's what I like to tell myself. Or was it they don't like Nate? They don't like Boy Scouts? They don't like the flag? They don't like the raising of the flag? I don't know. I don't understand. I don't get it. Later that night, my bestie called me, Colleen, and she knew about the thumbs down. She said she got notification. I put up a video. Her day was done. She immediately went to watch the video within five minutes of it being up. And by the time she got there, she was the third view and there was already a thumbs down and a thumbs up. Who does this? Again, because it was so quick. I don't know, right? I almost, well, for, for the past month, I've put together layouts. And I've just not been able to upload them. I have not felt like doing a video for YouTube. Whenever I do a video sharing my layouts, to be able to do so and feel comfortable, I think about the friends and acquaintances I've made on YouTube. And I literally tell myself, I am telling Tracy, Kat, Colleen, 
about the videos. That way, I feel like my video is personable and I get over any fear or weirdness in, in sharing my layouts. And I have to admit, the few times that I sat down over the past month to try to film a video to share my layouts, I keep thinking maybe I don't have friends out there. I know I have some, you know, and I tried to think, okay, just sit here and act like you're talking to Monica and Colleen. And I can't do it. I stopped the video. For the person who gave me the thumbs down, if you're watching now and you have no life, so I'm sure you're watching, I don't know what your goal was. If you wanted to hurt me or make me sad, it worked. If, if you wanted to make a little boy sad, it worked too. Because Nate saw the thumbs down. However, I was thinking quick on my toes. And I told him that I did that. By mistake. And he fell for it. I just said I didn't have my glasses on. And I hit the thumbs up. And it was really the thumbs down. And I told him it had to be me. Because no one else could see the video. But I wish you could have seen his face when he said... Mama, we got a thumbs down. Because to him, he also knows the good. He thinks about the people who send me a rack and he has something in there. Or he, I guess he thinks about the comments that I read to him that say, Oh, he's such a handsome boy and he seems like such a good kid. So, like me, he had a good impression of YouTube. I know I'm not the first person to have this happen. I remember a couple of years ago, a YouTuber had let her 8 to 10 year old daughter show a project. Now, she didn't put her little girl on the video. She just let her share her project. And the little girl was so excited and happy to do this. And somebody thumbs downed it. The YouTuber came back and did a video. And she was mad, rightfully so. And what I have noticed, and I don't blame her, since then, she does a fraction of the videos that she used to. And I hate that because this woman did a mean layout. So, it can't. I guess, you know, how do you get around it hurting you? I see my time's about ready to run out here on the voiceover. One thing that people should know about thumbs downing, and I don't know how you get this or who has it, if you have to have a certain number of subbies or hits, I don't know. But now YouTube has a place if you go to Creator Studio and then to your dashboard. If you look down, there's a link called Community. And in there, you will find another subcategory called uh, Messages, Comments. And there's a link there called Fans. Now, Colleen doesn't have it, so Again, you may have to have a certain number of subbies or something. But in that fan category, you can see the people that visit your YouTube channel. You can see who visits it most, who has subbed, and how long they've subbed to you. I can't pinpoint who it was that left that thumbs down, but... I've got a good idea. I'm coming back. I'm going to do videos. But, you know, if you don't... I know this has been said a million times. If you don't like something, X out of it. 
I gotta go. My time is up here. I'm running out of space. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.